Hello and welcome to Ageless Rock, a channel for megalithic fans with megalithic lens. In this video, we are going to see the possibility of Jaya Tataka Bare as a hospital that healed the sick in ancient Angkor. It is a mainstream narrative that this was once a hospital built by the great king Jaya Varman VII. Jaya Tataka Bare is a vast body of water with Nikpon Temple in the center. I presented the physical aspects of the structure and this video is a continuation of the previous two videos but focusing more on the mental and spiritual side of dietary which no one seems to be talking about. Tai Chi or Qi Gong has yin and yang concept as the basis of the natural world. In this context of heat and healthy, I'm going to share a little bit on the traditional non-scientific Chinese dietary. What you eat has invisible imaginary heat. That is why there are heaty food and cool food that traditional Chinese medicine will take into consideration. Mutton, chicken, prawn, coffee, coconut, durian, and tobacco will increase heat which means elevating the yang energy. Crab, tofu, egg, broccoli, watermelon, and cucumber are cool food and will elevate the yin energy. This concept of dietary will keep the internal energy in equilibrium if you are consciously checking the balance. If you eat fried chicken, then broccoli is a good combination and watermelon will be a perfect appetizer. Such reasoning is illogical in the eyes of Western science where Western dietitians will say that is crazy nonsense. In Malaysia, there is a very famous food served on banana leaf. It is called nasi lemak. This can be a balanced meal in terms of yin and yang if you eat one drumstick instead of two and have watermelon to flush down your spicy throat. Rice is pretty neutral and the banana leaf is to throw away. So now you know why Asians don't need a lot of detergents in the kitchen. If you have cancer, the Western health system will have you go through all kinds of treatments and medications you have to consume to stay alive. But yet, cancer is the number two cause of death after heart diseases. Does that mean Western medication didn't work? Would you try Chinese traditional medication if your doctor says there is no hope? After spending billions of research dollars in cure for cancer, people are still dying of cancer. Is there even a proven statistical significance that Western medication works? If not, why demonize Chinese traditional medicine if the end result is the same ratio for a successful treatment? This is a photo of a normal healthy Chinese herbal drink I had since a long time ago. You can easily get it from Chinese supermarket or Chinese traditional medicine shops. I only need to simmer a few ingredients. It is basically lotus seed, longan, berry and fruits. Everything in the photo is edible and tasteless. So add some Chinese rock sugar to make it sweet. Chinese eats everything with four legs on the table except the table. There are a thousand ways to eat a chicken. So you can imagine, there are more varieties of herbal soups out there than you can ever imagine. Probably, Chinese eat their way out of cancer without even knowing. And therefore, Chinese herbs are not proven it actually works. Chinese probably don't care much about cancer because they were too busy eating herbal soups. This structure, which we loosely call it a beret, is as mysterious today as it was when first discovered. If Cambodians built this, they wouldn't allow nature to take over. They will continue to use it until today because there is no reason to discontinue using it, especially when medical cost is so expensive and the alternative is free. 
I believe Cambodians inherited this from the unknown ancient builders but couldn't even keep up with maintenance. They eventually neglected it especially when it was just a pool of putrid water during summer. If you can calculate backward the population of Cambodia, there probably be not enough population to maintain all the temples in Cambodia, let alone build them. The entire Jaya Tataka Bare is about equilibrium of energy. This energy is about staying healthy. Health is not about how much weight you can lift or how fast you can run. It is also about how many times you see a doctor or psychiatrist a year. Ancient knowledge tells us it was a hospital. We will never know because archaeologists are busy looking for drainage system for agriculture to support the idea that it was a reservoir. Mainstream archaeology is very simple. Big and awesome tanks are bathing pools for the king, while insanely big tanks are reservoirs. I think we are looking at the wrong direction and therefore still confused. In the central pool, there are four statues, but they are in ruin and only one is interesting. A French archaeologist reconstructed the blocks into a statue that tells a story of Avalokiteshwara, who transformed into a flying horse to save followers from a shipwreck from an island of demons. This horse is known as Balaha Horse. From Google Map, it looks like there are other possible structures that no one is talking about. It looks like there is a possibility of more pools on the outside or there is a moat on the island with Nippon Temple inside the moat. This is something worth looking into for future reference. I guess we need more research funding from the French government to see if these additional pools are pools for the king. I have a feeling they are probably pools for different type of ailments. As usual, the unknown ancient builders never fail to keep us wondering. The entire beret and temple is said to be a Hindu temple. The center is said to be a Buddha but is missing. It is believed to be dedicated to Avalokiteshwara because the statues and story of Balaha the horse. Cambodians are confused and needed Victor Golobiu from France to tell the Cambodians what happened here. Victor Golobiu is a French philologist who studied Cambodian archaeological sites extensively so that he can tell the Cambodians what happened here. But the problem is, the Cambodians he met were rather primitive by comparison. The Cambodians Victor needed to ask were highly advanced ancient Angkorians who no longer exist. If Cambodians built this, then you can be sure no French people needs to come here to study Cambodian megalithic sites. Even with massive memory loss, they will still be more advanced than French in masonry, and a few will still be chipping polygonal blocks of stones after they were hewn out of bedrock. It will be for residential houses of the rich, if not for tombs, temples and palaces. Since archaeologists say that the ancient Cambodians were highly advanced, maybe we should just go to the extremely rural village and ask those who are extremely shy and hospitable Cambodians who live in wooden houses with thatched roof. The photo you see is a life of Cambodians more advanced than those who built the Jaya Tataka Bare by a thousand years. Logically, they should know something. So now that we know, this entire structure was meant to be a hospital. There is a yin and yang relation to health. There is another dimension of energy unscientifically called qi. Maybe it is time to think out of the box. Could it be Jaya Tataka Bare is a powerhouse for qi energy to balance our body back to neutrality? It seems like Jaya Tataka Bare is a cup of pH 7 liquid. If you add into a cup of acidic liquid, 
it will raise the pH closer to 7. If you add into a cup of alkaline liquid, it will lower the pH closer to 7. If we can tap into the power of qi and neutralize our yin and yang by dipping into these pools, we could be free from many ailments while making the big pharmaceutical companies angry. If I have cancer, I will sell my house and travel to all the megalithic sites in the world while chewing ginseng roots and dipping in Jayatataka pools along the way. I might accidentally be cured when I come back. But I might not be very happy having cured of cancer because I have to work hard to buy a house again. Well, that's all for now. Nippon Temple and Jaya Tataka Bare in relation to diet is something we should start looking into seriously. This is Bernie Ong signing out and have a wonderful day. Lehi.